In my previous tutorial, we talked about the canvas in Sketch. And the canvas is our design area. And the canvas in Sketch does not have an inherent size. It actually goes on forever. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can scroll all day long, and I never reach the end of it. So that's pretty cool. We get a lot of freedom as designers that way. But freedom's not always a good thing, because usually we're designing for some sort of screen size or resolution, and we need to fit within those boundaries. This is where artboards come into play. So I'm going to center myself back on my design elements using the keyboard shortcut Command-1. That's a keyboard shortcut that I use an awful lot so I can find my stuff as I zoom all over the place. And now that we're looking back at this stuff, go ahead and take a look at the Layers panel over on the left-hand side. You'll see that I have my sharp rectangle button, and I have my background group that has just this colored backdrop in it. And that stuff is on page one. Page one is a canvas that's infinite in size. So this box has its own boundaries, but it's not really within any other boundaries. This could be any size I want it to be. So if I would like to create a virtual screen of sorts or a piece of paper for some people who are doing print design, then I can do so by going to insert and choosing artboard. And when you choose the artboard tool, your cursor becomes a crosshair. And using that crosshair, you can drag yourself an artboard. And when you do that, your artboard becomes lit up and the background of the rest of the canvas and sketch becomes dim. So you can tell that this is your design area and the rest of it is not. And a little keyboard shortcut that I like, if you want more than one artboard that's of the same size, you can just hit Command D right after you create your first artboard and it will continue to duplicate that artboard each time you hit Command D. So you can create uh, different comps that have to do with different parts of the application or website that you're building, and you don't have to go and individually build each artboard. So now I've got my box here that's not on artboard one. All I have to do is drag it over to artboard one, and Sketch should know to relocate that layer into the artboard one group over here on the left. Usually that does the trick. If it doesn't, you may drag an object onto the artboard that you'd like to associate it with and then it becomes associated with that artboard until you tell it otherwise or until you move it elsewhere. Uh, so now I can go and I can grab this box, make it bigger, snap it to the edges, but these artboards aren't really any particular size. I just kind of randomly uh, winged it on the size there. If you want to work within specific common screen sizes, the sketch team was nice enough to allow us to go to insert artboard and then go over to the inspector on the right hand side and on the inspector you'll find all these preset artboard sizes that you can choose from. It's really nice. Some of them are paper, most of them are screen resolutions, iPads, iPhones, etc. Uh, even web design templates. So it's really nice not having to come up with those pixel resolutions from scratch or Google them of course if you're anything like me. Just look it up, make sure you're getting it right. At the bottom you'll also find a custom option and a plus sign. And when you hit the plus sign you can create your own preset. Uh, for instance, I do design work at 1920 by 1080 and that was not one of the presets that shipped with Sketch. So I've added my own by hitting the plus sign, giving it a name, and typing in my pixel dimensions. So now I can use that again whenever I want. And again, when you click to create an artboard, you can use Command-D to duplicate that over and over again. And Sketch is trying to uh, number up the name of my uh, artboards, which I named the resolution because I was lazy and didn't feel like giving them a more specific name than that. But you can name your artboards however you want, and you can also use the names of the artboards to move them around. So you're free to position these artboards wherever you want, and it will move the content that's associated with the artboard if there is content on that artboard, and they'll also snap together. So it's pretty cool. Consider your artboards your little, little miniature screens that you design within in Sketch. You can always resize them, you can move them around, you can option drag them to duplicate them. So for all intents and purposes, these are your design screens that you work within, within the greater canvas, which goes on forever and ever and ever. So you could have a ton of artboards. Uh, I don't believe there is a limit to the number of artboards that you can have. I have not found it yet, and considering that the canvas is infinite, I doubt there's a limit. So create artboards, use them. Uh, They're probably the most powerful tool for building out screens or comps for uh, similar design work, because then you can copy elements over and you can use shared styles and symbols and all that good stuff which I'm going to walk you through in subsequent tutorials. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I've got plenty of cool stuff coming at you next.